guys, we are here with another design team video for the month of October and this month the prompt I gave to the team was a happy mail prompt and I wanted them to not only use my images and products in happy mail but to send out a couple of pieces of mail. You know I'm always all about that and I was trying to figure out what I was going to film to be perfectly honest with you. I like to film something just short and sweet to share my thoughts and ideas on the prompt and mostly as a landing place for though for you guys to go find all the team member videos so that you can watch the team member videos. What happened however is that I did this. <laughs> I love this and it was a mistake. <laughs> um, so this is a large white office supply store envelope. It's 8 by 12 and I thought it would be great to demonstrate how you could create a Happy Mail envelope using digital downloads that you say buy from my store. This is the um, collage paper from the new Feathers uh, planner and journaling download uh, in my Etsy shop. There are two different listings depending on what size journal you use, a full size like binder or an A5, um, and you get this sheet of the images that normally looks something more like this. This side didn't print as interesting as the other one, but you get the idea. Uh, this same print is currently available via Spoon Flower in fabric. They have a number of different kinds of fabric that you can order it on. And um, it's a really fun print, I think. So I thought I could see if I could use my inkjet printer. I just have a regular standard HP inkjet printer um, to print on this envelope. And yes, you can. <laughs> so I'm going to show you really quick how I did it. For those of you who um, aren't familiar with computers. So we're going to switch up to the computer here. So the first thing I did was I opened, and I'm holding the camera, so if it's a little bit shaky, now you know why. All right, so the first thing I did was open the um, image, and I'm actually, that's Facebook, and I'm going to actually shut it so it stops beeping at me, um, us. Um, so the first thing I did was open the image here, and this is in my preview window. What, No matter what kind of computer you have, you would do the same basic steps. First, open the image, then go to um, generally... Uh, no, again, no matter the computer, go to print it. And when you do, a printer preview window will come up. You want to do a custom size and size it to your envelope, whatever envelope you use. In this case, I'm using the 8x12. And then um, in the preview pane, it's not quite stretching to the full length of the envelope. So I'm going to ask it to scale. And I'm going to have it print over the edge. I could have it print a little smaller if I wanted, but I'm good with that. Before I hit print, we have to put an envelope in there because right now there's nothing in there. So you could just print on one side, the side without the flap, which is this side. Um, or you could, oops, that's the underneath of my desk. <laughs> or you could print with this side, the side with the flap. Now if you're using an HP type printer where the paper is going to roll up this way, Put the envelope in, if you're going to print on the flap side, you want to put the envelope in with the flap down and that part with the flap so that it goes in first. You don't want to put it in, let me see if I can make, hold on. Let's see if this makes more sense. So I want to, if I want to print on this flap side, I don't want to put it in this way because what's going to happen as it feeds through is this flap here is going to get stuck on the rollers and stuff and jam up the printer. So if I put it in this way so that the fold goes in first, I'm going to get a nice print on that side of the paper. I'm going to just center it in. My old printer used to squeeze the paper tight. This one doesn't really do that. So, And if it does, yeah, I don't know how. So we're going to just stick it in there. We're going to close that. Put the little tray back. Okay, let's go over here and let's hit print. And as soon as they decide to talk nice to each other, it'll start printing. There we go. 
This is a really great way to use those digital images you have to decorate your Happy Mail envelopes or any other um, envelope or product that you want. If it's paper and can go through your printer, why not? I'm always encouraging you all to, um, if you've bought the digital images from my shop, print them on sticker paper, print them on mailing labels, print them, you know, use the image to decorate other components for your artwork. Why can't you? I think it's a great idea. And envelopes should be treated no differently. So, and there we go. See, now it prints really nicely and nothing got stuck or jammed. So now if you want to print on both sides, and I do, then I, for my printer, I need to pull this out. Pop the little tray. There's a little button right here. Now I need to put this in, again, with the fold on that flap going in first, and I need to put it printed side up. And the way it's going to go into the printer, it's going to feed into the printer this way and roll around that way and print on the back side. So you want to be aware of the way your paper feeds into your printer. That's really important when you're doing this type of thing. And you're printing on both sides. Okay, there we go. So now let me print on the other side and let's see what happens. We are back at my table and this is the envelope we just printed and how fun is that? So you can use the digital images from my store to create special things like custom printed envelopes that you can send out happy mail or birthday cards or these big envelopes you can print on them and then fold them in half and use them as journal covers um, and make an envelope journal. Fill the inside with blank paper or blank other blank envelopes. So just thinking outside the box a little bit, create something new, create something fun. I love this one and it was a mistake, <laughs> but I love it very much. I'm going to link all the design team member videos in the description below. I hope you check them out and see what they have. They've all come up with some really wonderful ideas. If you're interested in being on the 2018 design team, well, we have an application for that. Uh, the link for that will also be in the description below uh, along with some of the details and I hope to see you there. Uh, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Check out that video description. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thank you.